Hi, this is Leslie Fightmaster and welcome to day 33. And today we're gonna focus on strengthening the back and the lower body. So please join me on your mat today, sitting up nice and tall. Begin to come into your breath and bring your hands together in front of your heart. In Anjali Mudra, this is a mudra of reverence. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. Keeping our intention with us today, we'll come back into all the way down onto the belly. So we're going to strengthen the back muscles here. So as you're in this position, gently press your pubic bone down into the floor, reaching your tailbone towards your heels. Inhale, lift everything up off the floor, spinning the inner thighs up toward the ceiling. Keep the back of your neck long and breathe into your chest. This is Shalabhasana pose or locust. Just a couple more breaths here. Imagine you're squeezing a yoga block in between your inner thighs. And release to rest. And we'll go through this a couple of times, strengthening the back muscles. Taking the hands behind the head and inhale to lift everything up again. Keep reaching the tailbone toward the heels, spinning the inner thighs up and widening across your collarbones. And you can start to feel the back of the body wake up and release and rest. And as you're here resting down, just press all of your toenails down onto the floor and make sure your feet are straight back behind you and then one more time, take the hands behind you, either reverse namaste or press the fists and lift up and continue to breathe. Again, breathing into the chest, keep the lower belly lifted so as you're lifting your hip points up toward the lower ribs and release and rest. Arms by the ears, lift everything up again. And keep the back of the neck long. So the crown of the head is reaching forward as you continue to reach back and lift the inner thighs and release to rest. And then into Sphinx Pose. Take your elbows right under the shoulders and gently draw back on the arms to bring your chest forward, continuing to lightly press the pubic bone down and reaching the tailbone to the heels. Then hands under the shoulders. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Dog, your choice. And then exhale, make your way back into Down Dog. And just start to bicycle your legs here, bending one knee and the other in your Down Dog. Lengthening out the spine, make sure the arms are shoulders distance apart and your feet are hips width. Start to stretch the chest back toward the thighs, reaching the heels toward the floor. Inhale for plank pose, lift the belly, exhale and lower chaturanga. Shoulders no lower than elbows, but you can keep the knees down. Inhale, up dog or cobra, your choice. And exhale back into down dog. Keep the arms and ears in line. And look back toward your feet or your knees. And look to the hands, bend your knees, stepping or hopping forward. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, fold forward the hips over the heels. Inhale again to lengthen the spine, get some length through the whole back in front of the body. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees a little if you need to. Inhale, press down, reach all the way up and look up, lengthen the spine here again and exhale, hands to heart, Samasti Dihi. Inhale, circle your arms up and then exhale, hinge from the hips, arms in line with the ears. We're going to work the back muscles again. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Now keep your arms in line with your ears. Little bend in the knees is fine. Inhale, come up with a nice long spine so you can feel those back muscles working. And exhale, hands to heart. And again, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding in. Arms by the ears. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Pull the belly in strongly. 
exhale fold Keep your belly lifted to support your back. Inhale, come up with a nice long spine, arms by the ears, and exhale the hands down. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step to plank, and lower chaturanga. Knees can be up or down. Inhaling, up dog or cobra, and exhaling back into down dog. Stretching back here. And anytime you want to rest, just take the knees down, take a child's pose. You can always push pause and take a break. And look forward, bend the knees, step or hop your feet. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to fold. Inhale, press down, reach all the way up. And exhale, bring the hands to heart. And again, inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, folding in, Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, step or float back. If you float back, bend your elbows, landing in Chaturanga. Inhaling up, open the whole front of your body, and exhaling back. And stretching back, lengthen, lengthen. Look to the hands, bend your knees, step or float your feet. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, fold crown of the head reaching down. Inhale, rise up, look up and lengthen and exhale the hands to the heart. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, come forward with a nice long spine. Inhale to Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen. Exhale, step or float back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, and exhale back, Adho Mukha. Right leg floats up on the inhale, nice level hips. As you exhale, step it up, take the left knee to the floor for a low lunge. So reach your arms up, make sure your right knee's over the ankle, pull the right hip back. Stretch up through all four sides of your waist, arrow straight arms, and then Interlace your fingers, take them just above the right knee, tuck the back toes and hover the back knee off the floor. So we're just gonna lift it up and down. So lifting up and lowering, keep the hips low. Lift the leg up and lower it down. Make sure the front knee's over the ankle. Lift the knee up, back knee up and lower. Bring the hands down, chaturanga. Now if that hurts your knee to do, moving through your vinyasa, then you won't lift the knee up. Make sure it's okay on your knee. Left leg back and up on the inhale. Exhale, step it up by the left hand, right knee down, and rise up for low lunge. Pull the left hip back, drop the tailbone down, get some length. And then interlace the fingers, other pinky on the top. Tuck the back toes, hover the knee off, off the floor, and lower it down. So exhale to lift. We'll keep the hips as low as we can. Inhale to lower. Keep the belly drawn in, the ribs in. Exhale, lift. And inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower down. Bring the hands down. Step back through your vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhaling up. And exhaling back. Feel free to skip chaturangas and skip vinyasas. Just go right into down dog if you want to take it a little easier. Look up, step or float your feet, inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale to fold. Inhale, rise up, look up and lengthen, exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, hug your right knee into your chest, either holding onto the right shin, or you could take the toe, or if you have a strap, use that, drop the right hip down, bend the left knee any amount. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Keep the right hip drawing down, exhale to lift. Keep the left hip squeezing in, inhale lower. Exhale lift, inhale to lower. Keep the back long, exhale lift, inhale lower. Exhale lift up, now hold the leg up, hands on hips. Keep dropping the right hip down, squeeze the left hip in and breathe. Just another breath here, keep holding. 
and release it down. Nice. Other side, right leg down, we'll hug the left knee in and either keep holding onto the shin or take the toe or use a strap or a towel. And then exhale, bend the right knee any amount. Straighten it, inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten the knee. Exhale, lower. Shoulders over hips the best you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, or squeeze the right hip in. Come on up and bend the knee and straighten it. And hands to hips. We'll hold that leg up as high as you can. Keep the shoulders over the hips. And a couple more breaths. Nice long breath. Use those leg muscles and release it. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale to fold in. Inhale, look up, lengthen and exhale, step or float into Chaturanga. Inhale, press through your hands and feet. Exhale, make your way into down dog. Float your right leg back and up as you inhale. Exhale, lightly step it up by the right hand, spin the back heel flat, line up heel to arch and come into warrior two. So get that front knee right over the ankle, right in line with the second toes. And we're gonna hold this one for a little bit. So gaze over the fingertips, press your back thigh straight back behind you. Continue your nice steady breath and take a moment here as you gaze over the fingertips to come back to the intention that you set for your practice today. Bend the front knee a little bit more if possible. And if you're at your edge, no worries. Make sure the knee stays over the ankle though, especially if you bent it deeper. Just a couple more breaths. Lift the chest, draw the shoulder blades down toward the waist. And then reverse your, in, your warrior. Leaning back, nice side stretch, not a back bend. Keep bending the front knee. Just another breath here. Inhale to come up. Exhale, windmill the arms down. Vinyasa or skip it, go to down dog. Inhale to float the left leg up. Exhale, step it right in between the hands. Spin the back heel flat. Warrior two, make sure your heel to arch here. Gazing over the fingertips. And again, we're going to hold this one. I think it's about a minute hold. So, find your alignment, knee over second toe, front heel in line with back arch, press the back thigh straight back and lift your back inner thigh, widen through the collarbones, lift the belly, and draw your shoulder blades down and in toward the front of your body. And once you have all your alignment taken care of, focus in on your breath and on your intention. Bring some honor to that intention that you set today. And one of the most difficult things of our practice is to keep our breath nice and steady. And drop the right arm reverse, keep bending the left knee a little side stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Chaturanga. Inhale, press through your hands and feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg floats back and up. Exhale, step it through. Take your left knee down and come up into low lunge. So pulling the right hip back, send the left hip forward. Draw the lower belly and lift your hip points up. Stretch through the arms, palms facing each other. Triceps spin forward. Triceps are the outer upper arms. Tuck the back toes, lift that knee off the floor. If you can. Don't hurt the knee though. Make sure the right knee stays over the ankle. We're still holding here. Keep that length in the low back, so keep lifting the hip points up toward your low ribs. Stretching up as you exhale. 
I couldn't decide. <laughs> so let's do right arm forward, left arm back. This isn't the usual way we twist, but it feels good. So shoulders right over the hips, stretch through the back arm. Keep pulling the right hip back as you stretch, then lean forward and take your right forearm down to the thigh and press your palms in prayer twist or right hand down to the floor, left arm up. So this is an open twist. It's a little different than we normally practice. Actually, this twist is safe if you happen to be pregnant. You can do open twists. All right, come back through Chaturanga. If you are pregnant, those other twists don't be doing. Exhale back to down dog. You want to create space where the belly is. Left leg up, inhale, and step it through. Right knee down, and pull your left hip back as you sink forward. So the hips and the shoulders are squaring up toward the front of the mat. And your back inner thigh is lifting toward the ceiling. Sinking in for a nice stretch. Then tuck the back toes, lift the knee off the floor. You can always take your hands down first to lift up. Make sure that you have lined yourself up still with the knee over the ankle and stretch up through the arms. Keep the lower ribs drawing in and drop the tailbone down. Okay, let's see if we can get this right this time. Arms to a T, left arm forward, right arm back. So nice open twist here. And stretch through your arms. Maybe looking toward the back hand. Lean forward. Take your left forearm down onto the thigh. Press your palms together or take the left hand down to the floor, right arm up. Or you can take the left hand to a block if you have a block handy. Leaning forward, so every inhale, see if you can get some length in your spine. And then every exhale, maybe you can bring your bottom ribs forward, spin your top ribs back. Release and move through your vinyasa or go right into down dog. Inhaling up and exhaling back. And stretching back here. This is one of my favorite places to practice. Look up, step or float your feet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bend the knees. Utkatasana, drop the hips and reach up. And exhale, Samastiti. It's a little butterfly garden where we are today, and so I love to look at the butterflies. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the hips. Now press down into the right foot and lift your left leg off the floor. Okay. Then bend the right knee, exhale, straighten it. Inhale, bend the knee, exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale, bend, stick your bunsies back a little. Exhale, straighten and bend. Step back with the left foot, make sure the right knee is over the ankle. And then bend the left knee, tap it down or just bend it a little. Exhale, lift. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lift the leg. Inhale, drop it down and exhale. Straighten, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And coming back to where we started, keep that leg off the floor, bending the right knee. Exhale, straighten, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower the leg, exhale, lift. Inhale, bend the knee. Keep in chair pose, both the knees bent, and then left foot down, lift the right up. Bend the knee and straighten. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend the knee, exhale, straighten, sit your buns back. Lean forward as you step back, left knee over ankle. And exhale, bend the right knee. Inhale, straighten it, exhale to bend. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, bend it. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. Straighten the leg, inhale, exhale, bend the knee. And back up, don't let the foot touch if you can. Bend the left knee again and bend it, straighten. Bend, straighten the leg, bend, exhale up, inhale down, back to chair pose, sit your hips back, weight into the heels, press your inner thighs back down, and then fold forward, oh, straighten the legs. Grab your big toes, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold for Padangustasana, or you can just fold forward and grab your opposite elbows. Shift your hips over your heels, inhale, lengthen the spine, 
Left hand to hip, pick up your right leg for Uttita Hasta. If that doesn't work, bend the knee, then you can come to standing first and then extend the leg or hold on to your shin. Bend the left knee and in exhale, bend, inhale, extend. Exhale, bend the left knee and straighten it. Exhale and straighten. So we're going to take the left hand to the pinky toe side of the foot or the outside of the knee and bend that left knee again. So bend and straighten. Exhale to bend, inhale to straighten. Exhale, bend the knee, inhale, straighten. Keep that leg up, arms by your ears, holding here. Lift, 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 hips right below the shoulders and release it down. Step or hop the feet hips with Parahastasana. Step your feet onto your hands, your padas on your hastas, and then shift the weight slightly forward again. Or you can, again, just hold opposite elbows and hang. So we're going to try and pick up that leg again. So inhale, halfway up. Take your two fingers to the big toe of the left foot, right hand to hip, and pick it up. You don't have to pick it up with the straight leg. Squeeze your right hip and drop the left hip down. And then bend your knee and straighten. Bend the right knee. Exhale, come on up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten. Take the right arm across and take your twist. Bend the knee. So you can also hold on to the outside of the left knee if you can't if you don't reach the foot or use a strap. Bend and straighten. And bend and just bend a little bit but if it hurts the knee then just keep it straight arms up leg out hold squeeze that right hip in shoulders over the hips and release it down good work those legs should be feeling something inhale reach up as you exhale take your right hand to the right side of your body reach your left arm over just a nice side stretch we'll catch our breath here Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, the left arm down. Reach up and over to the right side. Stretch through the side body. And then back up on the inhale. Reach up, exhale, and fold in. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, stepping back through Chaturanga. All the way down to the floor this time. Back to Shalabhasana. Inhale, lift everything up. Arms by your sides, lift your chest, lengthen through the whole front of your body, back of the neck long, inner thighs spin up, then reach for the pinky toe sides of the feet, adding Dhanurasana if you can reach. Otherwise, keep working on Shalabhasana, the pose we just did. If you have your feet, press up and back. And release hands by your ribs. Inhale, open up the chest, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Couple breaths, look up, plank pose, and again to the floor, all the way down. Arms right by, hands right by the waist, pick everything up into Shalabhasana. Heart forward, inner thigh spinning up. And then reach back for the feet again, or not. So you can stay with the last pose, lift up down your asana, press the feet back firmly. So this strengthens the back and the backs of the legs as well. Keep the belly lifted. Release down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale again to plank. Exhale, lower slowly to the belly. Knees can come down first. Arms by the ears, reach up. Everything up off the floor, just keep the belly down. Keep the hip points lifting toward the belly. Pubic bone presses lightly down. And then bend your right arm, right forearm parallel with the front of the mat. Reach back for the left foot. Lift it up and press it back or bring the foot toward your glute. Try and square up your shoulders toward the front of the mat and continue to reach through the back toes. Switch, left forearm parallel with the mat, reach back for the right leg, either lifting it up and back, resisting it away, or bringing it forward, but still resisting it away. So you get a stretch through the whole front of the leg. And 
hands. One more breath and release it. That's Eka Bay Kasana Half Frog. Inhaling into Up Dog or Cobra. Exhale back, Down Dog. Looking up, bend the knees, step or float through and sit. And then bend your right knee for Janushirsasana. Pull the left toes back, inhale, arms by the ears, exhale, turn toward the straight leg, fold in. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale to extend. Reaching the crown of the head toward your foot. Getting that nice length through your spine. And you can always stay up higher. It's better to stay up a little higher with a long spine than to over round. Bend the right knee, right sole the foot on the floor. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, bring it across. Marichyasana C. Every time you inhale, sit up nice and tall. Lengthen through your spine. Every time you exhale, maybe you can twist in a little deeper. Once you get to your edge though, never pressing never forcing or trying to reach past your abilities. Inhale, left leg for Janashirsasana, sole of the foot to the inner right thigh. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips and fold. Keep lengthening on the inhales, reaching the chest and heart forward as you exhale, maybe reach the crown of the head toward the foot. Inhale, head up. Exhale to release. Take the sole of the foot onto the floor, left hand behind, right arm up, inhale. Exhale to twist. As you inhale, again, sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the spine. As you exhale, roll the left shoulder back and twist. Keep pulling the right toes back. Don't forget about your right leg. Want to keep it nice and active. And then back to center, both arms up, both legs out. Exhale for Paschimottanasana. Inhale, lengthen. You can stay up or exhale, extending forward. Keep reaching the crown of your head forward and lengthening. Pull the toes back, flex the ankles. Steady breath. Inhale, is that up? Exhale, release. Lie back, happy baby. Take the pinky toe sides of the feet. Draw the knees in toward the armpits as you lengthen down through the tailbone. And then either stay with that or extend the right leg out to the right. You can hold on to the leg if you're um, not reaching the foot. Back to center, extend the left leg out to the left. Stretching it out. Mm. Nice long stretch. Back to center. And soles the feet together, knees apart, Svadhakonasana legs. And then make your way into Shavasana. So lengthen through your lower back. Bring your arms by your sides. Draw your shoulder blades toward the waist and allow your feet just to flop open. Take your arms a little bit away from the sides of your body. If you want a little pillow under your head or you can put a pillow or roll up a blanket under the knees if you've got any pressure in your lower back. Once you get into a position that feels comfortable, just try to completely surrender into that position. Releasing your breath practice, just let the breath breathe you. Quiet mind, quiet body for Shavasana. This is a quote from Dan Millman from the book called Way of the Peaceful Warrior, a book that changes lives. There is no need to search. Achieve, achievement leads nowhere. It makes no difference at all, so just be happy now. Love is the only reality of the world because it is all one, you see. And the only laws are paradox, humor, and change. There is no problem, never was, never will be. Release your struggle, let go of your mind, throw away your concerns, and relax into the world.
No need to resist life. Just do your best. Open your eyes and see that you are far more than you imagine. You are the world. You are the universe. You are yourself and everyone else too. Wake up. Regain your humor. Don't worry. Just be happy. You are already free. Begin to reawaken your body, reach out through the fingers and the toes, reach your arms overhead, nice long stretch through the arms and legs. Hmm. And then take the arms by your sides, bend your knees, roll off to your right side, pausing a moment once more to honor the intention that you set for your practice. And then slowly make your way up to seated, bringing the hands together in front of the heart. Close your eyes. Hands to our forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Our hands to the heart center to remind us to have clear and loving intentions. And our hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communications. Sending out this wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. I will see you tomorrow where we will do some cardio hit type of practice. And please like the video if you liked it and comment. Let me know what your intentions are if you're comfortable sharing and please share this video with your friends tell your friends about this 90 day challenge yoga fix 90 to create a healthy habit if you can afford a donation of any amount there is a link below also on fightmasteryoga.com there is a amazon link so if you ever buy anything from amazon we just joined their affiliate program and it really helps us you can buy from the website thanks <laughs>